that is not something that's built in, but uh, again, a similar sort of um, uh, procedure to, uh, to what we talked about before. When uh, a task runs, it can update a status flag or some other you know, item on the, um, uh, on the operating system or put something into a log file or um, you know, however you want to handle it. Uh, and then as part of your routine checks, you can check to see if, um, uh, let's see here, there's a, uh, an event log check, for instance. So you can look for a particular um, string in the Windows event log as part of your regular checks. And then as part of the tasks that you're doing, uh, set uh, as part of the task to log whether it succeeded or failed. So the task itself can't uh, trigger a, uh, an alert through the PSA uh, or send you an email or, or whatever when it, um, when it runs, whether it failed or not. Um, but if you add something into a log file or you know, a, a flag in the registry or whatever, then you can do that with a check as well. Um, and if you're doing something as a task, um, you can you can very often add the same uh, script as a check uh, and just add it as a script check. Um, uh, again, that's going to happen. That's going to uh, you know recur uh, on a daily basis or on a regular basis uh, as well. Um, whereas you know, with uh, tasks, you can set them to be you know manual or monthly or or what have you. So I think that that might be a uh, you know uh, a solution to being able to do that um, that triggering. Uh, of an alert from a task as opposed to uh, a check.